Hey, so this is a bit of a different unboxing. Uh, I have right here a Yamaha Piagero NP12 keyboard that uh, I've, I've been getting back into piano. I, I've tried off and on over the years to learn it, but made the push this time. Been practicing every day, three weeks. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm doing all right for three weeks. You know, I'm starting to at least learn stuff. So I realized that my crappy Rock Jam 561 keyboard that I had is just not gonna cut it. it sounds terrible. It's actually really kind of hard to play. The keys are like really stiff and you have to push really hard. So it really tires me out um, wrist wise. So got this, it's supposed to be a pretty good beginner keyboard. And yeah, I, I uh, hope that I can get it all in frame because it's, it's quite large. So let's get into it. There goes my old keyboard, yeah, crappy rock jam, 561 there. Ugh. This exterior box is just, you know, what you'd expect from this kind of box. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't come with a, uh, a power cable, so I had to order that separately, so I'm gonna have to actually come back after I've gotten that to, uh, give you a, a bit of the sound and everything, but, um, for now, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like, and then I will edit in later. Movie magic. All right, this is the uh, music stand, which already feels a lot nicer than the the one on the Rock Jam. And here is the keyboard itself. Gotta be careful. It's not it's not the most expensive keyboard, but it's, you know, it's a significant enough money that I do not want to break it. Got this. I can feel static from all this styrofoam. There we go. And it's got the dust cover here. Apologies for the bad audio, by the way. There's no real easy way for me to use a microphone for, you know, unboxing something this large. All right. Here we go. Ooh, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it looks very nice. It's, uh, the big thing with this one is that it's very simple. It doesn't have, like, say this rock jam, 200 sounds and a bunch of rhythms and like a, a teaching display. Super simple. 61 ton touch sensitive keys, not weighted, but you know, if you push them different bits, they will go louder or softer. Nice speakers, you know, Yamaha, it's quality stuff. Um, volume, power, uh, demo, which I'm guessing is just for in-store stuff. Metronome, which is very important for when you're learning and practicing. And then 10 sounds, just two pianos, two e-pianos, that's electric piano, two organs, strings, vibes, harps, and uh, two harpsichords. There's also a record and a playback function, which is great for listening back to yourself, obviously. Uh, it's a bit, a bit dusty, but already these have a much nicer feel. Yeah, they, they ju there's just a nice texture to them. They're still firm, you know, a little bit of pushback, but they, they're, they're a lot more delicate. So I, I get the, the feeling that it'll be a lot uh, less difficult to play, quote unquote, than Let's see underneath here. Yeah. yeah, they got screws for putting it on the stand, which is good. I don't want this falling off and breaking. Uh, they have a case for batteries. I'll, I'll do close-ups in here that I'll, I'll get afterwards. Uh, but it takes six double A's, which is not terrible. I don't know how the battery life is, but you know, six double A's, that's, that's pretty affordable as far as batteries go. And Yamaha, we have a sustain pedal, which I don't have one yet. I'm, I'll get one when I know that I need it. That's that's my general rule is I get, I get what I need. And then as I actually work on the stuff and get better at it, I get, you know, more equipment that I know I'll need once I understand why I need it. That way you don't accidentally buy the most expensive stuff and then you never actually commit to doing it like this. I got this Rock Jam keyboard in 2017 and only over the last three weeks did I actually start committing to practicing. So 
Y yeah. I, 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 I definitely not always the most committal, but I'm, I'm committed this time. I'm focused. Keyboard, piano, learn it. And so sustain pedal. Uh, USB to host, so you can connect it to like an iPad or whatever tablet you have, your phone. Uh, the computer, so you can use it as a MIDI interface. It's a bit big for a MIDI interface, you know, usually you see the much smaller, but it's usable as that, and I'm sure it'll sound great. Um, we got headphones, which is the, the nice professional, you know, quarter inch stereo headphone, and the power. So that's it, really. It's it's very, very simple, but it's, you know, for practicing. Should be just fine. Whoa, let's turn this around. Ooh, it's got a nice little strip of red felt along the keys, which looks um, looks very attractive to me. I like that quite a bit. And then we have numbered 0 through 10. I'm guessing that has something to do with the demo, but... I don't know, I'll play around with that when I actually get the, uh, the power cable. And then, yeah, let's see. How does this feel? Yeah, that feels very nice. It's, there's pushback. It's not weighted, but there's pushback. And, um, it, it just, it feels very nice. These black keys especially, they've got like a nice matte finish. This is, this is going to be much nicer. Much nicer than, than this piece of garbage I got over here. Um, the other thing is that this comes in white as well, if you'd prefer a white piano. I don't, because, like, if there's any kind of stains or some kind of guff that you can't control, it's just going to show up so much worse. So I prefer something dark color. Looks clean a lot longer is the main thing. You know, wear and tear aren't as obvious on something black. Um, ironically, this is not piano black. It's a, it's a matte textured black, so it won't show up the fingerprints that like a nice shiny piano black has. We're gonna actually hear how it sounds. So I'll, I'll figure out how to set that up. So don't, don't go anywhere. That's right now. Don't stop the video. That's, here we go. Hello. So uh, yeah, it's been several, several months since I recorded that unboxing. And so the first part is gonna be the same, but the, the bit where I actually showed off the sounds is uh. I mean, it's just much more amateur playing than I can actually do now. I'm, you know, I'm still mostly intermediate, but like I've improved a great deal and I figured I'd be able to show you guys a little bit better what these, these different sounds sound like, uh, now in the future. So let's, let's get into it.
Another thing I really like about this is that if you push two buttons at the same time, you can get a mixed instrument. So like there you get strings and harpsichord, which then can sound pretty cool in songs like uh, the Shire theme. Let's go with the Shire theme. Okay, this might not have video over it because it uh, looks like my camera died, but whatever. Hopefully I got enough footage of the actual playing. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out all my other social media and such. I'll link it around. And uh, be sure to follow, subscribe, all of that here. Comment, all that stuff. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great time playing some music, learn some piano. I got to practice more. But thanks very much for watching.